Hi everyone. So today I am going to show you a workflow which is pretty amazing. You would have noticed that when we create some images which are like full body or where the face uh, tends to become smaller. Even in flux the faces are not that of high quality. So in this particular photo you can see that uh, the eyes are slightly different. You see. So what we'll do is that we'll change this face to this. This is what we are going to do. So this was the face generated. And remember, this is not upscaled. This is like uh, the normal version that the Flux has created. We have not used the upscaling here. And then you can see the difference. There are no artifacts in this eye. The face and everything tends to become better. Now you would have noticed something. This particular face is of Sydney Sweeney. I'm using a Lora. And uh, this is something I want to mention very clearly. I actually wanted to use my own for, uh, LoRa. I wanted to create a LoRa with my photos, but uh, I tried it on Civit AI. I tried to generate a LoRa, but uh, I did not have very high quality images uh, of mine and uh, I couldn't caption it very well. So the results were not that great. So I had to use it. Always try to like uh, avoid using anyone's other face in any kind of generation, even in personal use. So that is something I would suggest. Now gets, uh, let's get started with it. One thing I like to uh, mention first is that although you'll find all the links what you need to download, I'll just give a very basic overview. And this is something I have mentioned in all of my previous videos as well. You just need to download the Flux uh, quantized model GGUF file. So I am using the Q4KS version. You can go up to Q8 depending on if you have a very powerful GPU. I am uh, creating this whole thing on a laptop with 8 GB of VRAM. It has the RTX 4060. So if you have 6 GB of VRAM, you can try Q3 or uh, something like that to see whether your image generation and quality both are in balance. Download this. Go to Comfy UI and Models folder and put it in Unit. So the name is the, uh, the name of the folder. Just put it there. For dual clip, similarly, go to Comfy UI Models folder and there would be a clip folder. Put the clip L. Put the T5 uh, XXL encoder. Q6. I am using Q6K. There are Q5, Q4, a lot of different variants uh, of lower sizes as well. Whatever you can handle. Uh, put it there. It would be in the clip folder and download uh, download links would be in my description. Don't worry about it. And the VA is a dot safe tensors. So put it in the VA folder. These are the only things you need to download. Other than that, I am using obviously a Sydney Sweeney LoRa. Uh, you can directly switch it off, switch it on from here. And this is just to show you guys that how this LoRa is going to affect the whole face detailer and a detailer, uh, a different detailer like detailer 2K safe tensors. This is one of the LoRa's you can find on Civit AI and uh, it is pretty good. And here everything you see, just choose the Florence 2 base. It will automatically download like this one will automatically download. So you don't need to do anything. You will get this whole workflow in my description. Just load it from here. Now, when you load it, you will see some of the nodes are red and it will throw an error that uh, these are not installed. So what you need to do is go to manager. Here you can see install missing custom nodes. And for me, there are no missing custom nodes, obviously, but you will find a list. You need to install everything and restart. That's it. And you will have the complete same workflow as me. Above here, because you can see this is a generation flow and image to image as well as a face enhancer as well. So I have put a switch here. Currently the image to image is off and the face enhancer is on. If you want, you can off it and you will just uh, stop at this process. Like after this step, nothing will be done. And here I am using a prompt photograph of beautiful Sydney Sweeney as Cinderella wearing glass heels, gorgeous Disney princess, magical cinematic photography. So with that, now I'll hit uh, the Q prompt button to generate. And after this, you don't need to do after anything after this step. It will directly work and go up till here. So let's wait for it. 
so the image generation is complete the whole process now you can see this is the first image that was generated directly without face enhancement and because you see the face is very small right so when you zoom in you can see the eyes are not aligned very well and something looks very off although and maybe most of the times you don't want to upscale the whole image because everything else looks good like it is working even you can see the fingers and everything are cool according to the resolution the face is slightly creepy and with that what it is being doing here is that firstly the florence takes the image and it tries to find whatever text here is given so i have given face you can actually uh, try to find here and anything else as well but for this purpose i am using face because everything else is uh, done according to that now you see a positive prompt here here i have mentioned gorgeous face pink lips blue beautiful blue eyes you can put something uh, which is like relevant to facial features the negative prompt is nothing so now uh, i am using the florence to base here and it will automatically download for the first time you generate it is going to take some seconds extra to download but after that it will be comparatively faster now what it does is that you see there is a small box around it saying face that is what we detected right whatever you put it here it will try to detect in that image that is already generated now it comes the mask comes here and what it does is that basically uh, it goes to find a segment from it so it is trying to exclude inside this box it is trying to exclude anything which is not face now sometimes a little part of neck and something will be uh, like included and that is not a bad thing that is actually a good thing but uh, normally if you have used it directly it tends to go beyond the box and choose something from the neck or somewhere else so here i am using an intersection so whatever segment is being chosen here it will be just inside this box right and this goes here to a blur so you see this mask it is not going to be very hard edged square it would be slightly blurred so that uh, like there are no hard edges after the generation and it then goes to this converter here is the guidance from the positive prompt here the positive and negative are connected negative is nothing blank va comes up from here the clip is coming from here and the model is coming from lora clip and model so the model which is coming from lora this is main because even the face enhancer is working on lora and that was the main reason i had to choose lora for this particular workflow and the image you will not use this image this image is directly coming from the generation right and here you can see the final image which has been created show you the before and after you see this was the normal image generated this is sydney's face so the lora even the original one used uh, the lora and you can see the facial features somewhat but it was so small that it could not generate that very, pretty well the second face what is uh, it is actually doing is that it is creating a full resolution photo and then it is compressing it into the small version so if you zoom it very high you can see that this gets pixelated but this pixelation is because the whole image resolution is smaller this is because the generation was weird so you can change it and if you like now zoom out you can see this image looks pretty good you did not need to upscale the whole image the face looks good the hands are pretty good and this image looks great so this was it Uh, and i'll provide this whole workflow obviously in the description box along with all the other links which you need to download and yeah thank you